Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and today we have this. It's called Hexorx or something. I was just looking at it by Pexy, and this apparently is supposed to be a very strong material that's hard to destroy. So challenging, in fact, that if I were to even use the eraser on it, it kind of heals itself magically. I, I'm, I'm not really sure how this thing was made, but yeah, it's self-healing to the point of literally cheating. It's still hard to kill it. Like, it, it can take some abuse. I should build a spaceship out of it. How about we actually, let's go ahead and grab some hex orcs. Let's put like, could we build like a container for something with them? Yeah, if we put like four of them like this. Oh yeah, now we can hide something in the center and see if we can keep it alive. Let's go ahead and get a stick man. Let's put a stick man in there. Oh, the pressure is getting really high inside of it. Never mind, a stick man would never survive that. Okay, let's just do one and see if I can destroy it using normal means. So we'll bring it through the normal paces. Let's go ahead and just throw thermite on it. You know, that's pretty average. Thermite did manage to actually damage the shielding on top of it a tiny bit, if you saw that. Let's go ahead and throw some plasma at it. Plasma is generally effect... Nope. No, we have no effect from plasma whatsoever. Um, seems to be just completely ignoring the plasma, so heat doesn't seem to be able to really break through it on its own. We need something with a little bit more oomph, so let's go ahead and build a nuclear bomb. I'll just go ahead and we'll do it the proper way. Uh, we're gonna use wax to allow it to go out. People yell at me for using titanium, I know. Wax is far more effective. Uh, but, you know, if you're me... Oh, nope. We got really no reaction from that. I'm curious if protons are able to pass through it, because if so, I may have a game plan to be able to break this... Oh, protons can pass through it. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to use titanium because it's just protons going through anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and do our classic deuterium bomb. Set that life really high, but we're gonna do a proton deuterium bomb. And frame by frame, these should be extremely high temperature. Yes, they are in the 9,000 degree range, and when they hit, they're gonna pass through and potentially destroy the inner mechanisms that are keeping this material alive. Now, after that initial attack, in order to actually take out the... So I want to actually direct this, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put a wax cap on the side so that it opens there. Great. This isn't super pretty, but you know what I'm trying to do. Surrounded by neutrons, and let's see if we can get that a secondary blast to actually knock the side off of it. Because we've we've heated it up to a pretty effective degree. Okay, that explosion was really lame. This is all molten still, so I still have a chance. <laughs> I can still make this work. I'm just gonna use titanium. I'm just gonna make a big ol' bomb. All right, boom. Boom, pressure is what makes this go big boom. Give it big pressure, big boom. And it wasn't able, did it, did that even make a dent? Okay, let's go ahead and do it again, I guess. An another, another nuke. Gee, well, that, was, uh, that was a little bit disappointing. We'll use wax, we'll do super high pressure. We're going to try to just cause this to go big kablooey. We just need enough force to rip it apart. Oh, that was pretty effect. no. When you look at that, it's completely ignoring our attacks. Um, huh, all right. What if I just uh, really gently just put like 
six of these around it. Ooh, now that was an exp- What? No, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> it, wow, that was a really cool looking explosion, but it looks like it didn't, it's leaking. It is leaking something. There is material leaking out of it now. It looks like I have done some damage. But uh, if we go ahead and cool it down a bit, let's see what is left. Clearly there's some kind of clone or something in it because it's able to survive if you use an eraser. So it leaking material doesn't necessarily mean it's dead. Why is it so bright? Oh, there we go. All right, it, uh, it's, is it dead? It's hard to tell. Like, the shielding is completely stripped off of it. It is leaking. Parts of it fell out, but let's go ahead and nuke it. Oh! Oh, cooling it down, I think, actually, uh, may have killed it. Although it didn't, it didn't exactly, it's still alive. It'll take a few more nukes to take it out entirely. It's still fighting. <laughs> wow, okay, so I don't understand how this works, but let's see if cold is something that'll actually weaken it. Curious. It says a ton of surround. So let's look at how this actually works, right? So you have quartz, tungsten, broken metal, ceramic, spark titanium, shield, and there's bizarre in there too. I just, I don't know how they interact to actually, interesting. Okay, but cooling it down seems to have an effect on it. It actually changed uh, the color, be probably because of bizarre and how it works. So if you cool it down and then hit it, it looks like, yeah, it looks like it took a lot more damage when it was cold. Uh, we'll actually compare this using what we call science. We'll go ahead and we'll put two of these down. We'll put a bomb in the middle and we'll get one nice and cold. We're gonna figure out its weakness. There we go. Boom! All right, so it looks like the cold one did take more damage and it's still spilling and the shield didn't rebuild completely properly. Uh, this brings up, well, let's go ahead and hit it a few more times. Just for science. It looks like we're getting the same result. The one on the left is definitely taking more damage and having a harder time reconstructing itself. Um, interesting. But what about heat? What if we went ahead and put one down that we'd preheated? I'm curious. This, this is very interesting, this material. It's brilliant. All right, so get it nice and toasty warm. So it seems to be self-cooling. Um, it is actually cooling itself down at a pretty rapid pace. Interesting. Uh, but now that it's preheated, and then if we hit it now... Ooh, interesting. You know, the interesting thing is, it, it's not really making much of a difference. This material really is something. It is able to handle pretty much anything you throw at it. You can even start deleting it. Okay, maybe maybe after being nuked that many times, it can't survive the deletion as easily. But it healed, built a new shell on itself, and it's back to just doing its thing. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So this stuff is legitimately uh, pretty much the most indestructible thing I've seen on the powder toy. Now, I guess in the thing they were talking about other materials, so I made a new bomb. Ooh, I should look at all of these. I just, I don't know how the heck. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Hevorks plus plus. Oh, not Hexorks. Hevorks. Stronger than Cordium. What is Cordium? How many things has this guy made? What, what is this? What is this? Oh, these are bombs! Those are really uh, quite, quite something. This is like going to the edge of physics. I don't even understand. An obnoxiously strong azure bomb. Previously the strongest bomb in the powder toy. Well, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I won't even argue with that because that looks pretty damn effective. Damn. Oh, and it has like a dramatic end as well. How did how how does it function? Where's the even stronger one? What is it? What? Uh -huh. How? Okay, I'm I'm kind of. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save this and leave this for another time. Okay. How do I, how do I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save so that I can, or I should just make a stamp out of it, honestly. There we go. Make a stamp so I can use this in the future. Back to what we were doing. I'm, I'm going off topic here. Okay, so this, this material, right, is extremely resilient. Um, we've put it through its paces. I wonder, like, the bomb elements, even the cheaty destroy like more destructive bomb is <laughs> it's not really able to hurt it too much is it it just you gotta just continually hit it over and over and over now more destructive bomb is kind of cheaty because it just kind of forces its way through things um but wow when you look at that it's a material that legitimately i cannot i cannot break through i'm kind of curious um If I grab the body, I like, I like all the different body. <laughs> wow, okay, uh, I just, I want to see, not by date, I want to see, it's in the top, it's always in the top, here we go. Brilliant. Brilliant, okay, um, I, so, normal nuke. Absolutely annihilates him, right? That's what we would expect. But if we go ahead and put some of these bad boys in, I'm almost curious if he will survive completely. Uh, can I delete that? I didn't mean- jeez. People make fun of me because I'm still screwing up the controls on this game. Which is fine, I should be made fun of for that. How long has it been? <laughs> it's been too long! All right, let's go ahead, boom. Get our nuclear bomb. And no, the Hevorks 100%, except for the pressure leaking through and killing him. I mean, none of the actual bomb is making it through. I could actually probably, oh, this creates pressure, I see. So this is actually kind of killing him. That's funny. I mean, but the interesting thing is because of the shape, you can actually uh, kind of stack them like this. You could you could build a full-on empire using this stuff. Boom. I don't know. I like it. All hail hexagons. They're the best of guns. That's a neat material. I suggest you check it out. I'm kind of, I'm gonna do a slight, well, we'll do, we'll do like a very mini, a very mini look at that super destructive bomb because I think I'll make that the next video I do because I'm highly curious. Highly, highly curious. Let's go ahead and open Bunker City, which is like my normal testing map. And uh, let's just go ahead and grab that stamp. Uh, just, I mean, it couldn't be that. How? 
How on earth? <laughs> What? What? All right, well, we'll save it for next time. I'm gonna have to try to contain it or something, even though that's clearly impossible. Bye. As always, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you to my patrons for making sure they don't starve to death. And uh, yeah, all very cool. Thank you to End Credits Gang for watching the entire video and raising my average view time. Thanks. Very pog. And, uh, yeah. You guys should totally join the Empire, so I have to implement a scrolling function to this again. Look at how close- the text is literally touching the bottom. We're almost scrolling again. Almost.